Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and another Marketplace video. It's a Saturday when I'm filming this, so there's going to be a lot of noise in the background most likely because my boys are home from school and uh, yeah, you're just going to hear noise. But I thought I would film some Marketplace journals. I'm trying to get a lot of journals up before Christmas so that the artists get some Christmas money and of course I need the money as well this time of year. So um, I have a box of journals from Yesenia Diaz and... They have some really pretty fabrics. Uh, of course, I like the uh, strings. This is a really nice quality string. These are hanging out of the signatures. You could bead them up, put beads on them, or trim them off if you don't like them. There's, it looks like three signatures. Um, it is a flexible, it's like a soft cover, hard cover. It's not like book board. It's like a cardboard cover. Three signatures with a... Um, not sorry silk, what is a seam binding closure? Isn't that beautiful? I love that fabric. And you could so easily pick your favorite ephemera piece from your favorite kit and layer it up on some coffee dyed paper or something and put it on the front. You can kind of bump this journal into a new direction if you wanted to. So this is called Fabric Cover Journal Travel to Japan includes the American Geographical Society Japan Tour booklet. So that's neat. So it kind of, I guess, has a little bit of a Japanese theme to it. That's really neat. You could, um, I have a kit, not a kit, what's it called? An ephemera pack called Eastern Nature that would have some really pretty pieces of ephemera to include in this. These are neat. These vintage like sticker stamps. I have some booklets, not the Japan ones. I don't know if it's the same set, but I have some of the Audubon Society nature ones like this in my shop. They're already stuck in the book, but they're wonderful to use in your journals. A lot of different colored pages, nice and pretty to use. I mean, isn't that pretty? stamps. So there's definitely, the theme is Japanese, but you can definitely add a lot of florals in here for sure. And of course it's a junk journal, so you can mix and mess. Yes, this is pretty much exactly very similar to what I have in my shop where you put the sticker on it not the same booklet. My, the one I have are nature ones, not different countries necessarily. But you can check that out in the journal supplies section of my shop. So there's a lot of pages in here. Lots of little spots to write and put notes, clip in ephemera. So there's that one. The cover's so pretty. The fabric. Then I have a Christmas one here. This is a little golden book, Santa's Toy Shop. The buttons are little owl buttons here on the spine. Three signatures, uh, metal book corners. Again, you could bead this up if you wanted to or you could trim it off or just leave it hanging if you like that. Red ribbon. So this is perfect for a little nostalgia, maybe remembering your childhood um, because it's a 1950 book that has been repurposed. So it is got Christmas cards and scrap papers, all different sizes. Perfect, some pretty dyed papers too. Little flip outs. With these, you can glue the uh, sides there and make a pocket. You can rip it to have a ripped edge. You can leave it as a flip out. So many things you can do with that, of course. Oh. A little gingerbread man and some ornament die cuts in that bag.
because dyed papers are pretty. Maybe some gift wrap in here too. Like this. Bright and shiny. You could still use this for a December daily or a December memory keeping journal or pick it up for next year or it just would look really fun on the shelf as part of your Christmas decorations. These are all listed in the Marketplace section of my website. Marketplace is an online consignment shop where I sell your journals. There's an email address in the description box below. You can contact me if you're interested in the guidelines of selling in my Marketplace. Three signatures. This is a nice heavy, du heavy duty fabric, heavy duty fabric. Nice colors. Again, you could put an image on the front if you wanted to. This one is Travel to Ceylon. So I guess she used another one of those booklets, but it's Ceylon, which I wanna say is in India. I could be wrong. Yeah, American Geographical Society, 1956. So this one is pretty much like the Japanese one, but it is, I'm just going quickly through it because it's similar, but it is Ceylon. If you love traveling, these would be perfect as travel journals. I like the lace and the music papers. Lots of history. These are fun to put all throughout the journal. So you have that one too. Here's another winter or Christmas journal. It's got a, like a velvety spine, seam binding closure, little snowman on the front. Traditional Christmas, digital from Queens of Myth. So she does have some digitals in here. And then lots of Christmas papers that you could use. For, I know we're getting kind of close to Christmas, but I don't necessarily believe in December daily being the only way to memory keep for Christmas. I really don't think you have to commit to doing something every day. You can just enjoy your Christmas memory keeping and crafting and doodling and gluing and cutting and all of that any way you like. Even if you work on it after Christmas, after you things have settled down and you print off your pictures or you journal about the things that you remember. And even though a book like this is really big and you probably would not have enough to fill it in one year, you could use it over multiple years and just kind of have a Christmas journal that you brought out every year to just write little bits in. Use as a guest book when people come over for Christmas parties, use as wish lists and shopping lists and scrapbooking and all that kind of stuff. And it might take you four or five years to fill it up and that's fine. So this looks like it's a winter themed one. These are great for going into January and February because it's still winter. Winter Wonderland Digital from Queens of Myth. So I don't see anything specifically Christmas. It's winter. So you can use that into yeah February or even the beginning of March. And then with some of the pink laces and things, you can definitely use it. Lots of birds in here, different papers. This is a fun one to pull out your inks and maybe your watercolors, your favorite stamps. I'm seeing gems and stuff in here too. I do have a digital kit called Multifaceted. I was trying to remember the name because I wanted to say Forest Gems, but that's my mushroom kit. But I have one called Multifaceted that is crystals and gems, and that would pair really, really well with this journal if you wanted some papers and ephemera to work with. Um, it looks a lot like this. So you have little bits of ephemera, little baggies with goodies. 
So that would be fun to work in as well. We have this one. It's a repurposed book cover with a fabric on the spine, two chunky signatures, a yellow ribbon, closure. You have some vintage patina here on the cover. It's pretty teal flower. And this one is a sunflower theme. So I'm thinking floral and sunflower because we have some sunflowers. Lots of pages to embellish, to journal on. Got music papers. There's just a lot of pages in here. Okay, this signature is, <laughs> it'll be okay, I think. I don't think it's going anywhere. But there may have been a catastrophe. I am not 100% sure because it is all glued together here in the middle and it feels a little wiggly, but I don't feel like it's going anywhere. So I'm not 100% sure what that is all about because it feels like cardstock in the middle. Oh, maybe it's not supposed to be together. Maybe it got stuck together because I see journal cards in here. That's weird. Yes, no. Well, I am super confused. I do not know what that is about. So I'm putting it back the way it was and whoever buys this journal can figure it out. But so many pages. You can see the signatures aren't quite even, but that is okay. It's a junk journal. It does lay open fairly well. Again, why is the same thing in the middle? I'm kind of confused what that's supposed to be because it's really thick. It's like almost as thick as the cover. I'm sure. But lots of different pages. Pretty sunflowers, beautiful florals. Uh, here's another winter one, similar to the others. It has an owl on the front. I like the snowflake background. That opens, you could do a little bit of journaling in there if you wanted to, or if you wanted to, because it flips open like this, if this is gonna get too easily damaged, you could maybe put some clear packing tape over it to seal it down. You could rip it right here and then glue or sew on a cover over it if this is gonna get um, damaged, this is just like a copy paper. This is called Winter Wonderland. Again, the pretty lace on the corners, gorgeous blues for winter. Lots of fluffy lace, birds, very similar to the inside of the other ones, pretty much the same um, things used. Lots of pages. These out, these are pretty. And then on the back, you could do some stenciling, add some stickers or something like that. Lots of pretty colored pages as well. Again, that front can be adjusted slightly if need be. We have another Christmas one. This is coming off the tape. So most likely gluing that down would be a better option. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere for now, but maybe adding some extra glue would be a good idea. Traditional Christmas. So the gorgeous, look at the laces. You have the traditional Christmas colors, really pretty.
lots of places that you can add your Christmas bits and pieces to. This be really fun to embellish and then journal in, tuck it back in maybe with a photograph. Lots of Christmas goodness. Oh, trying to tie it back up. Perfect timing to get these last minute Christmas journals out. I wasn't able to pull many this year um, or this season. I tried to pull a lot of the fall ones in time, but I've just been having to work through the boxes and not dig through all of them to find the Christmas journals. So I'm glad when I do come across them in time. Here is another journal of a repurposed book cover. There is a floral sunflower on the front and it is repurposed, another sunflower themed one. So this is another sunflower journal like the other one using pretty much the same kit and similar papers really pretty gorgeous florals two chunky signatures lots of pages So if you like sunflowers and florals, this would make a good junk journal to write in and work in. Lots of different colored pages as well. And then I have two Alice in Wonderland journals that she made and that will wrap up today's video. Uh, be on the lookout for Marketplace journals all week long. I hope I'm still filming. Yes, okay, my phone was showing a notification. So here's an Alice one. I'm going to be doing a lot of marketplace journals. That's the idea anyway this week. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, you might want to do that so you get notifications. But I would still check frequently because a lot of times I found that the notifications don't show up until much later. And then most of the journals are usually already sold. So this is a fun Alice in Wonderland journal. If you like Alice, this would be a good journal. It might inspire you to create and to journal and to just have a little bit of fun. I kind of think of Alice in Wonderland being a fun theme for February too because of the Queen of Hearts and it just seems kind of like a whimsical way to celebrate February Valentine's Day. These are really pretty illustrations for sure. So if you like that, there's this one and she has one more. They would go really well together as a set. I'm not going to list them as a set, but you could purchase both of them if you wanted to. This is the other one. So you can see they would be beautiful as a set. Fabric on the spine. It is a file folder, so it is a really good quality um, cover for a single signature cover. I love single signature journals. The covers just have to be made the right way or they don't hold up. Well, that's, I guess, the same thing with hardcover ones as well. But this is a nice, sturdy cover. And these are beautiful pages, these prints. This is how you want digital prints to look <laughs> when you print them. It is bright and beautiful. The quality on this is quite good. It is really cute. So if you love Alice, then you've got a little treat here in these two journals. Thank you for watching this video and for supporting the marketplace and other artists. It means the world to them. I know it means the world to me as well. And I can't wait to share more with you in the coming days. I hope you have a lovely day.